I live around here, I put up around here. I struggle with mosquitoes day in and day, every night. But I'm still grateful to God. In case you still have a roof over your head and you have anything called food that you can put into your mouth daily without owing people, then you should count yourself so grateful because you're far, far better than most of the many African youths scattered on the soil of Africa, just like the case we are going to show you now, that have no roof over their heads, even the means of livelihood, it's not certain each day. Such is the case of this boy called Ernest. You are going to the scene where he's staying and everything about him, how he came about this before the Cetros Foundation got into contact with him. So come along with me, let's go. My name is Ernest Abibino. I'm from Delta State, from the local government area. So, I'm from a polygamous family and I happen to be the first one of my, my, my mother. So my mother is married to another, she got divorced from my father. So I happen to be the first born. I have other siblings from my father's side. We are, we are so many that my father gave up on us. We had to fend for ourselves. Being that I had to leave my comfort zone, which is dead dust it, to come to Lagos impossible for a better life for myself and for my family because I can't afford to feed myself, I can't afford to feed my family, I can't afford to feed my siblings because they are all looking up to me. So I came to Lagos. When I came, I went in search for factory work, work from one factory to the other, seven to seven. So, being that even the money they pay is, is nothing to write on my back, I can barely use the money to, to get up for my knees. I was in desperate in search for, for a better opportunity. For I was introduced, introduced to Sergio by my pastor, the church. I'm attending. I was told they were offering a free training courses. And I happened to be interested in photography and uh, videography. So and I really want I really want to take this opportunity seriously because I don't want to miss I don't really want to receive this opportunity, this is, this is where I live. I live, I live around here, I put up around here. I struggle with mosquitoes day in and day, every night. But I'm still grateful to God that I'm alive because there are people out there who, 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 who don't have this life, who don't have this life, so I'm grateful still. But still, I want a better life for myself and for my family. So I want Sergio Foundation to help me, to help me and change me. And in return, I promise to change three more other youths for free. And I also played with Sergio Foundation to, and to also identify me as a member of the foundation. I promise to be diligent. I promise to be honest in my doings. The work I'm working, it cannot really take me anywhere. Still, I will end up owing debts at the end of the day because they pay us two, two weeks before they will pay us I'm, I, will, I will be owing debts here and there and I don't really want to 
depend on salary. I want something that I will learn that will make me financially independent. Something that will make me stand on my own. And I promise to, to, to give my best to this training. Come, let me show you how I sleep in this open place with mosquitoes, struggling with mosquitoes. But still, I'm grateful to God Almighty for, for life. But I know that's why there is life. There is hope. This metal box here is where I keep my stuff. This is where I keep my stuff, my clothes, on this metal box. Yeah. This is the mosquito net here. So, usually when it gets dark, because most time I will have to wait till 11, most time 12 in the night when it get dark maybe around 11 or 12 in the night i will take it from this metal bus to this very spot here to this very spot here here is the mat i will the mat here I will have to screw the floor. So, so what I do is I will take this mat, then I will have to sweep this place thoroughly. Then I will spray this mat. I will spray the mat on this floor and the mosquito net. I will bring it out and I will tie it to this edge here. The breeze at night, I will have to find stone. Stones support it. After I set it up like this, I will have to make a, I will have to create a, a spot where I can get in inside. Where I can get inside. Where I can get inside. Then I will lay my head I will pray to God to, to see me through, to cover me with the blood of Jesus, being that I'm sleeping in the open because a lot of things happen. I will ask for his protection, for him to cover me, to send his guidance angel, to, to watch over me to dawn. Then I will lay my head. And I've been doing this for over eight months now and I thank God that nothing bad has happened to me so uh, I sleep every day with pains in my heart that God will send an effort to me and yeah and I'm grateful that I was able to hear about Setro Foundation so I really want Sergio Foundation to help me to even to help me with with the training. I promise to give my best to the training. With pains in my heart, I really want to make a difference in my life. I really want to stop the factory work I'm working because we work like like elephants but at the end of the day they will give us peanuts 
money that I will not even able to cater for my for my feeding. Not talk of buying buying clothes for me to wear. So that is that. Mm -hmm. So when you get one most time. I will have to wake up by four in the morning and also when I take the job, I will go and get early around 4 a.m. I will have to take my baths around that time before it gets done. That's what I've, I've been doing for the past eight months now. But I was lucky the man that owns the workshop he was able to take me in through the help of a friend of mine I met at my former factory where I was working. So I was able to meet that my friend he brought me to the man that owns this workshop. So the man was able to take me. So he just happened to like the way I am. So he took me as a brother, as a friend. So he has been so good to me, he has been so supportive to me. Uh, so um, this. Uh, is some of his animals. Animals. This, he asked me to, to rear these animals. Yeah. From that extreme end of the workshop. So most time, when, as a result of the weather condition, when there is rain, in places and open area, so I can't. When there is rain, I will have to come to this other side of the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, during the night, there are a lot of them that will park at this very spot. So, and the man that owns the workshop that I'm putting up here is also a security. He safeguards the keke at night. So, what I will do is, I will have I will get in one of the keke and I will pass the night at the keke. So most time as a result of the weather condition, I sleep on the keke. Or maybe when there is no rain, if the weather is calm, I will sleep at that spot. Yes, a particular place at Apple is more of like an abandoned land to People go there, most people they go there and toilets in that place. Or most time when I'm on day shifts, I will just quickly go to work on time and uh, use the toilets. Uh, and so I've been doing this for a quite a period of time now for the aspect of the feeding so the most time my pastor happens to be supporting his place and uh, dish food for me I will take it over to these very spots though sometimes the man that owns the workshop buy food and he call me over to eat with him. I will buy a paint of Gary and uh, I will be in the morning I will soak I will just drink the Gary and go to work in the night same thing I will take the Gary and drink it so I had to discipline myself. I'm grateful to God that He has given me life for the grace for me to be alive. I'm not taking it for granted. But I believe that 
there is a rope. There is a fissure ahead of me. There is so much pain in my heart. I don't want to feel myself. So based on what you've seen so far, if you have so many other youths like this that are in such challenges like this, please kindly reach out to us on the numbers showing below uh, this Centers Foundation's number so that we'll be able to help. And if you have a dollar, two dollar, a cent, a thousand dollar that you can spare for this youth suffering across Africa, please don't forget to reach out to us on the same numbers. you see our GoFundMe uh, accounts, all our details below because there are so many of these youths on the waiting list that we have to help so please like and share this video so that many persons will get to see and will be able to help more we observe that this guy doesn't have clothes as well and so many of the african youths here so those clothes of yours that you're throwing into the dog's bin you could just find a way of sending them down to us all the things you're using that you think they are not valuable they are still very valuable to so many youths around here in Africa. So you could just find a way of getting them across to the foundation and you're going to see how we'll spread it to this youth. Remember, the only thing you can do in life that will last is what you've done to affect the next person to you. That is what will last for life and eternity. And don't forget the joy therapy. Don't forget to keep your joy no matter what is going on around the globe. And don't forget to share that joy with the next person to you. And that is it from us at the Cetrus Foundation today. Thank you. Catch you. Love you. Bye-bye.